In this next hand, I look down at 7-6 of clubs playing, I think, 7-handed, maybe 8-handed. We're under the gun, and it's close, but I think it's okay to open. The game is playing fairly straightforward, relatively straightforward, so I think it's okay in this exact spot. I open it up for 30. We get three calls, so four ways to a flop of 10-9-3 with two clubs. Flush draw plus gutter ball. The blinds check, and having seven high here, but with pretty good equity, I make a C-bet of $80. Folds back to the big blind who makes the call. Heads up to a turn card of an offsuit three, and he checks it over to me again. So it's a decision here of whether to barrel, barrel this street and blank rivers, or check here and take a free card heading into the river. With seven six of clubs, I think it's a little bit of a mixed bag here. I think I should have a little bit of a range advantage here because I have all of the over pairs, and I can also have all the sets here and the two pairs, uh, at least 10-9 since I would never expect my opponent to just check call, or I shouldn't say never, but rarely expect him to just check call with pocket 10s, pocket 9s, 10-9 on this flop, pretty wet flop. I can also have jacks, queens, kings, aces, less likely for him to have those. I do block flush draws, which is a negative, uh, a con to barreling here, but I think he can also have a lot of other uh, hands, draws. Uh, some other club draws plus some straight draws queen jack king jack king queen all those hands all those hands uh, Are either going to have to fold the turn here or fold to a river barrel So I decided to put in a second barrel here. I bet $180 my opponent makes the call here So we're heading into a river card, which is the ace of clubs So we end up making a flush on the river interesting though My opponent leads out on this card it leads out for $400 Somewhat sizable bet and I'm not too sure how many uh, value hands that we can beat we can beat some hands with an ace, such as ace-10 or ace-9. We lose to almost all the flushes. He could, however, be turning this card into a uh, bluff, some sort of a scare card. It's a little bit weird of a situation for him to be leaning out when we have the flush, and uh, it's possible that he could be using the flush card as a scare card as well, uh, potentially with a straight draw. So that's a long-winded way of saying I'm never folding here. I'm only calling 100% of the time. So I toss in the call. Unfortunately, my opponent rolls over the jack high flush. So, couldn't get him off it on the turn, and unfortunately, it comes in on the river for both of us. Flush over flush situation, riding the waves, riding the waves here in this session, winning some hands, losing some hands. 